Different rattlesnakes have different types of venom. Know the rattlesnake and you know the correct treatment. Let's take a look at the five rattlesnakes found here in Clark County. This is the Sidewinder. Because its venom is only moderately toxic and delivered in small doses, it is considered the least dangerous of the rattlesnakes found in Clark County. It gets its name from the sidewinding locomotion it uses to travel. It is also referred to as the horned rattlesnake because of the modified scales over its eyes. These protect the snake from wind, sand, and the loose earth it burrows into for camouflage. Its coloration is tan to gray with brownish blotches on its back. It averages one to two feet in length, prefers sandy or loose soil terrain, and can occasionally be seen burrowed in the soft earth. Widely considered the most dangerous, the western diamondback is by far the largest of the rattlesnakes in Clark County. It is capable of delivering large doses of moderately toxic venom, and although not aggressive, it will aggressively stand its ground when cornered. In Clark County, it averages three to four feet in length, although elsewhere it can reach up to six or seven feet. It's tan to dark brown in color and has large diamond shapes on its back that are edged with black and white flecking. Its preferred terrain is foothills and desert washes. The nickname coontail refers to the alternating black and white banding on the tail near the rattle. Most snake bite fatalities in the southwest are from the western diamondback. Another rattlesnake with a banded tail is the Mojave rattlesnake. Commonly known as the Mojave Green, its coloration tends towards various shades of green, but it can be tan to light brown. Like the Western Diamondback, it also has a banded tail, but on the Mojave, the white bands are significantly wider than the black bands. The Mojave also has rough diamond shapes on its back that are bordered with light-colored scales. Although its average size of three to four feet is about the same as the Clark County Diamondbacks, its venom is significantly more toxic, making it a snake to be reckoned with. The other two rattlesnakes found in Clark County are both speckled rattlesnakes. The one most commonly found near Las Vegas is the Southwestern Speckled. The name is derived from its salt and pepper coloration, although its color can vary greatly depending upon its environment. Its cousin, the Panamint, has a much more defined pattern with darker blotches or banding set against a light body. Both snakes blend in well with their environment. They average two to four feet in length and have moderately toxic venom that can be delivered in large doses. This is a gopher snake, not a rattlesnake. It's relatively harmless, however, it can imitate a rattlesnake's posture if it feels threatened. When trying to identify a rattlesnake, remember, just because it slithers and flicks its tongue like a rattlesnake doesn't mean it's a rattlesnake. Whether you encounter a rattlesnake, a gopher snake, or any other reptile here in Clark County, your reaction should always be the same. Respect, not fear. These animals aren't out to get you. They're just simply another strand in the web of life.